Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabiras This Week. And this week we're at the galleries at the historic courthouse here in Concord. And uh, Kasha's going to tell you all about the new exhibit that's here. we got a lot of other information, so grab that pen and paper so you can jot that contact info down. But if you miss it, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. We're visiting the galleries at the historic Cabarrus County Courthouse, where their new exhibition, Making It, is on display through October 3rd. The exhibition is a celebration of the partnership between the Cabarrus Arts Council and the Piedmont Craftsmen, who are celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. The Making It exhibition features work from selected members in a variety of media forms, including clay, glass, fiber, jewelry, mixed media, photographers, printmakers, metal, and wood artists. When you visit, volunteer docents are available to give you a tour and answer questions, or you may enjoy the exhibition on your own. If you have children with you, or you just want to have some fun with the art yourself, make sure to ask for the I Spy Artwork Scavenger Hunt. Admission to the galleries is free. Gallery hours are Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Galleries are located within the historic Cabarrus County Courthouse at 65 Union Street South in Concord. For more information, call 704-920-2787 or visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org. Now, Cabarrus County Arts have a great opportunity that's coming up, and you have until September the 19th to apply for the Regional Artist Grant. Now, the grants provide up to $2,000 for individuals and groups of unincorporated artists, and that includes visual, performing, film and media, and literary artists as well, to pursue projects that advance their artistic development. That's great. Mm -hmm. Now, winners can use the award for a professional development experience or purchase or rent even a piece of equipment. Now applicants must be permanent residents of Cabarrus or at least one of the other qualified counties for at least 12 months, be at least 18 years old, and must not uh, be enrolled in a degree granting undergrad or graduate program. Now the grants are highly competitive, so artists are strongly recommended to contact the Arts Council as you draft your application, because it will help you out. In fact, if you contact them, by September 12th, they'll have somebody take a look at, review your application uh, before you send it in. That's pretty cool. That That's is pretty nice good. Of them. For more information on how to get the application password for the regional artist grants due September the 19th, visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org or call 704-920-2787. Now, David, do you know the word that the 2013 Scripps National Spelling Bee was won on? No, and you're not going to ask me to spell it, are you? <laughs> I don't even know if I can say it right. I think it's canadal. Canadal is the word. And oh, it's okay. a type of dumpling. Mm. And there is a big controversy because some dictionaries don't have it spelled that way. It was the whole controversy <laughs> uh -oh. in the spelling world. Well, if you enjoy that kind of situation mm -hmm. and you would like to razz a few members of the community, come to the Off Center Buzzword spell Spelling Bee on Thursday, September 5th at 5.30 p.m. at the Davis Theater. At the Bee, you can watch crowds razz and haze local literacy advocates as they spell to support the Concord Friends of the Library. Teams of three adults compete for the championship. The team membership cost is $500, and to attend as a spectator, tickets are just $10. To learn more about the Buzzword Spelling Bee on Thursday, September 5th at 5.30 p.m. at the Davis Theater, visit Cabarrus literacycouncil.org. Now the Cabarrus Health Alliance has a special offer for families that still need to get their students immunized for the school year. Now on this Tuesday, very that's important. very, very important. Now on Tuesday, September the 10th from 5 to 8 p.m., stop by the Cabarrus Health Alliance for the last school immunization clinic of the year. Now no appointments are needed and the, the clinic accepts Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Cigna, Wellpath, Aetna, MedCost, Medicare, and also the uninsured. It's important to know that North Carolina law requires students to start the school year with an up-to-date certificate of immunization. Parents and guardians only have 30 calendar days to provide this documentation or the student will be excluded from school until proof is presented. For more information on the immunization clinic on Tuesday, September the 10th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Cabarrus Health Alliance located at 300 Mooresville Road, and that is in Kannapolis. Or for more information on required vaccinations for students entering a North Carolina school for the first time and students entering sixth grade, contact the Cabarrus Health Alliance at 704-920-1000 or visit CabarrusHealth.org. Just two hours of your time can make a difference over the next 40 years in Cabarrus County. That's, that's a pretty good return on investment. It is, really. <laughs> 
uh, participate in the Connect Our Futures workshop on Tuesday, September 24th at 9, 9 a.m., 1 p.m., or 6.30 p.m. And the reason we're telling about the, talking about this early is pre-registration is required to participate, so be sure to sign up soon. At the workshops, community members map out the future, including where residents wor will work, live, and play, how residents mm. can enhance the product of our quality, how residents can protect, Oh, the quality, protect the quality of our That'll life be good. Yes. as the region grows. For more information or to register for the Connect Our Future planning event on Tuesday, September 24th at 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 6.30 p.m., visit connectourfuture.org or call 704-372-2416. Now, love playing Farmville. I don't think I've ever done that before. I, I know lots of people that are very addicted. No, that's true. You know, I guess being raised on a farm, I kind of knew went the, the other way. Uh, yeah, I went the other way. <laughs> but maybe you have an interest in farming, you know, starting a second career, which I tell you what, is very fulfilling. Um, and my parents and my grandparents and their grandparents all, but I tell you, it's a hard life. That's the reason I do TV. No, <laughs> I'm lazy. No. You couldn't cut it. I couldn't cut <laughs> it as a farmer. Off the farm. That's it. So if you'd like to learn more about the foundations of farming, including insurance, taxes, selecting farmland, post-harvest handling, Take the beginning farming class online. And I tell you, this is a great suggestion because you really, seriously, if you're interested, these are aspects that you really need to know to be a successful Taught farmer. By very knowledgeable, knowledgeable people. people. Absolutely. Like Special Agent David Goforth is That's involved. right. Special Agent David Special Goforth. Agent. That's it. Now, the course is a prerequisite to participating in the, the Elma C. Lomax Farm Incubator Program. And there is a $50 cost to participate, and participants can complete the course on their own schedule. For more information in the online beginning farming class, just visit cabarrus.ces.ncsu.edu or call 704-920-3315. It's time to start planning for the 2013 Farm Tour. This year's event will take place on Saturday, September 14th and Sunday, September 15th. The way the tour works is participants purchase tickets to tour 30 local farms in one weekend. The ticket covers admission for one carload of individuals over the two-day event. Participants will see working cattle, organic dairy, alpaca, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Alpaca produce and ostrich farms. Tickets are available at $25 per car through pre-sale and $30 per car on tour days. For more information on the 2013 farm tour of 30 local farms on Saturday, September 14th and Sunday, September 15th, visit knowyourfarmstour.com. And the reason I hesitated on alpaca is I'm the same height as the alpacas and they were a little intimidated by me when they saw me and they... They came after you. They came no, after they me. didn't come after you. They, they came just after me. they just spreading their love. That's it. Now, if staying balanced is concerning to you or maybe someone you know, sign up for the free matter of balance classes. You can take the class on Tuesday and Thursday, and that's September 3rd through the 26th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., and that's at the Harrisburg YMCA. Now, this award-winning program is designed to help individuals manage falls and increase activity levels, which is all very good. Remember to register in advance, please. For more information or to register for the Matter of Balance class on Tuesdays and Thursdays from September the 3rd through the 26th at the Harrisburg YMCA, just call 704-920-3484. Are you a senior with a special talent, or are you a senior who thinks you have a special talent? <laughs> Regardless of the case, now is the time to register your act for the Salute to Seniors uh, Talent Show at the Cabarrus County Fair. The show will take place on Thursday, September 12th at 3 p.m. Prizes are awarded for first through third place individual acts. You must register your act through the Concord or Mount Pleasant Senior Center by Friday, August 30th. Mm, Get your application in. That's right. Are you gonna Are you gonna do this one? Well, let me think about it. I didn't even realize until you know just read the script or just said <laughs> talk about it. So you know now I have to think about it. Well, you, okay. you should definitely do it. For more information or to register for the Salute to Seniors Talent Show, Thursday, September 12th at 3 p.m. at the Cabarrus Rooms in the Cabarrus Arena, call 704-920-3484. Now, it's not too late to buy your advance tickets for the fair, because and they're discounted as well, to the Cabarrus County fi Fair. Now, you know, September 5th, you can purchase advance adult admission tickets, and that's for ages 12 to 64 for $5. That's a $2 savings off coming when, after the fair actually starts. 
Advanced Ride Wristband Vouchers can be purchased for $15. That's a $5 saving. And Ride Wristbands are also offered every day at the fair and allows fair goers to ride unlimited mechanical rides at one low price. That's pretty good. So uh, just bring the Advanced Wristband Voucher on any day of the fair to redeem it for a wristband at the Midway Guest Relations booth that's inside the fairgrounds. For more information or to purchase advanced discounted tickets to the Cabarrus County Fair, visit CabarrusCountyFair.com or call 704-786-7221. And just to clarify a little bit, the tickets are on pre-sale through September right. 5th. So you have until the end of the day on September 5th, 5th. to get those trades. Now, almost every time I go to Frank Lewis Park, I see families flying their kites. And it makes mm, yeah, me so cool. happy. So nice to see them flying up there. You can join the fun and learn a little bit about the science of behind the high flying hobby at Kite Day on Saturday, September 7th wrote this. at 1 p.m. at Frank Lewis Park. I'm just glad I didn't get that last one between the wristbands oh, and yeah, forget all that. that. That was crazy. High flying hobby. Of go. flying a kite. We want you to come out on Saturday, September 7th, 1 p.m., Franklin's Park. Park staff will help you build a kite and show you how kites work. You'll learn how much wind is needed, and you'll learn if you actually have to run to get a flight kite. To fly? fly. Yeah. <laughs> to get a kite flight. <laughs> That's good. Registration is required by Thursday, September 5th, and the cost to participate is just $5. To register, visit cabarriscounty.us slash reserve partner and type in the word kite into the class search box. For more information on Kite Day, Saturday, September 7th at 1 p.m. at Franklis Park, 4001 Stowe Road in Concord. Call 704-920-2701 visit cabarriscounty.us slash parks or go to facebook.com slash County active living and parks. And I, I used to, when I was a kid, I remember many times running, pulling that kite and it just psh, bouncing on the ground. So maybe they have some techniques that would have I helped me back then. I even you can learn. Even I can learn, that's it. Now it's sad to say, but the pool season's almost over. Mm, okay. Now, the pool at Camp Spencer Park will be open just one last weekend. Your last chance to jump in and have fun is Labor Day weekend, and that's August 31st through September the 2nd. Pool hours are 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. Admission at the pool is $2 for age 65 and older, $3 for ages 6 through 13, $5 for ages 14 through 65, and children 5 and under are admitted free with a paying adult. For more information on the pool or other activities at Camp Spencer Park, located at 3155 Foxford Road in Concord, call 704-795-4492 or visit cabarriscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarriscountyparks, active living and parks. We'd like to take a moment to let you know about some Labor Day closings that are happening in Cabarrus County. All government offices, including our library branches, the Cabarrus County Senior Centers, the Department of Human Services, the Landfill, and Cabarrus County Governmental Center will be closed on Monday, September 2nd mm. in observance of Labor Day. And the board meeting, which usually falls on a Monday, right. will then, of course, move to Tuesday, September 3rd. It takes place at 4 p.m. in the multi-purpose room of the Government Center, and that is actually the uh, Board of Commissioners workshop. It's right. their agenda setting meeting. For more information on Labor Day closings, visit cabarriscounty.us. Now, I know we've got a lot of information on today's show, so if you missed any contact information, just go to cabarriscounty.us, and you have a little search box, and you can put your topic in there, find out what you're looking for. But if you have any problems, just pop us an email at channel22 at cabarriscounty.us. If you're not already signed up to the newsletter, no. I don't know what you're waiting for. It's all this great information That's and right. more. It's so easy, and you don't have to listen to us talk. <laughs> You can just go to the top of our website, click on the right side of the page, sign up for the newsletter, or text CTW to 22828. And of course, we want you to sign up and follow us on our Facebook and Twitter accounts where you get live information from the commissioner meetings, mm -hmm. you get some parks information, library information, and more. Uh, and that's on Facebook and Twitter, of course. Absolutely. And if you have family and friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, or maybe you just want to watch our programs, when you have an opportunity, just go to CabarrasCounty.us and just scroll down on the bottom of the page and you'll see on the lower left, there's a video screen and right below it, it says Channel 22 Programs. Click on that. All the different shows that we have will be up there. All kinds of great things going on. I said we have a couple of new, the Simply Locals that are on that are good. We're in the process of working on a new historical moment. There's That'll, a perfect pet. 
And perfect pets, absolutely. Those are great. That is some great looking pets. I mean, they are cute. So all kinds of great things in the commissioner's meetings, of course, and school board meeting and all kinds of good things. So if you, um, you know, I tell you what, you got to come on out here to the galleries because they just do an amazing job. Every exhibit is really different and it looks at another aspect of arts and it's just, it's really cool. And this is a beautiful building. If you've never been, you got to just come and check the building out. And the craftsmanship in this exhibit in right. particular, these local artists, what they've done is really cool. Really great. Until next week, you have a great one. Take care.